Alex, what kind of story would you like to hear today? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little tiny puppy, a beautiful golden retriever dog, and he was very little, and he had a very, very nice boy who was looking after him. And this boy took the little, bo the little puppy dog to the park. And the little puppy dog saw a big tall man named Michael who would throw the ball so far all the way across the field. And the little dog would chase after the ball with all the other dogs. But the little dog would never catch the ball because all the other dogs were bigger and faster. Well, this little boy watched how he chased, his dog chased after that ball, and he ran so hard and he wanted to catch it so much that the little boy thought, I will train my dog. I will teach him to run faster, run smarter, and he will grow big and strong, and he will get that ball. So the little boy took the dog home and gave him a nice meal because part of growing big and strong means eating a nice meal, lunches and dinners, and the meals have to be balanced. You have to have lots of carbohydrates, carbohydrates for your energy, and you need protein to grow stronger and taller, have bigger muscles, longer bones, and you need healthy fats to help your brain grow so the dog will be smarter and be able to figure out when the ball bounces which way it will go. Because sometimes when a ball lands, it goes one way. Sometimes when a ball lands, it goes the other way. And the more you practice and the smarter you are, the better you can get at predicting that means guessing which way the ball will go when it bounces. So the baby, the little boy made this, the puppy dog, a very healthy meal with lots of fruits and vegetables and salmon and of course some whole wheat bread. And then that little dog grew a tiny bit that night. And the next day, the boy took the dog to the park early in the morning before anyone else was there. And he threw the ball as far as he could. And the little dog chased after it. And they did it again and again and again. And then the little boy used a chuck it. So then the ball would go even farther. And he threw the ball. And the little dog would run and run and run and catch it. Until the dog would get so tired and the little boy would be so tired that they would go home and they would eat a healthy meal together again. And they practiced every day for two months. And the little dog kept getting faster and faster and bigger and stronger. The little boy was so proud of his dog that he took him to the park at four o'clock and the man named Michael was there with a big chucket and he gathered all the dogs up and he launched the ball far, far and high into the air. And 10 dogs ran after the ball. Run, 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 run. They barked. Roof, 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 roof. And they chased and they chased. And the biggest one, a Labrador retriever, caught it and ran back with it. And our little puppy dog was so sad but the little boy was happy because he saw how close his dog was to catching the ball with a little bit more practice and a few more healthy meals the dog would grow taller and stronger and faster and he would get better and better at chasing and catching a ball so the little boy said to the dog you did very good. You tried your best. We're going to keep practicing. We're going to keep training. And we're going to keep eating healthy meals. And we're going to grow taller and stronger. And we're going to win. You're going to get that ball.
And sure enough, the little boy kept training with his dog. They would be out there early in the morning, running and chasing balls. And then they would come home and they'd eat healthy meals and they'd take good naps. They'd sleep well at night. And the dog kept growing and growing and growing until he became a big dog too. And this is when the little boy knew, my dog is ready. And he took him back to the park. And the tall man named Michael gathered up all the dogs and threw the ball all the way across the field. And they all ran after it. Step, 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 step. Roof, 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 roof. And guess who caught the ball? The little boy's dog. And he ran back, his ears flopping in the wind, his tongue sticking out of the side of his mouth, and he was so happy. And the little boy looked at his dog and yelled, Yes! The little boy was so happy because his dog was so happy. And they did it. They had great teamwork. They worked together. And they succeeded in their goal. They did a very, very good job. So after the little boy, after the little dog ran all the way back, he dropped the ball off at Michael's feet and ran to his boy and sat at the boy's feet and kissed the boy by licking him all over his cheeks. The dog loved his little boy and was so happy that his little boy worked with him so much. The little boy then said, let's go home. And he and the dog walked back to their home. The little boy washed his hands and made a healthy lunch for both him and his dog. He had salmon and chicken and peas, which were his favorite. And the little boy was able to use a spoon all by himself. He's becoming a big boy. Once the, the little boy was finished with that, he had some strawberries and blueberries for dessert. And then he washed his hands and said, Oh, I need to brush my teeth. So he found his favorite toothbrush, the one with the puppy dog on it. And he put on toothpaste and he brushed his teeth. He brushed his teeth. And then he thought to himself, well, I've had a long day. And he looked and he saw his dog, his beautiful golden dog, was so tired that his dog was sleeping. And he said, you know, that's a good idea. I should sleep like my dog. And he washed his hands a final time. His teeth were already brushed. He changed into his comfy PJs and he used the potty. And then he went to his bed and he went underneath the blanket. It felt so warm under the blanket that his eyes started to get heavy. And he put his head against the pillow and it felt so soft and so nice that he closed his eyes and started to breathe heavy. And he started to count all of the throws that he made for his dog in practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 throws. The boy made 25 throws on the first day. The next day he made throws. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. The boy remembered 50 of his throws before he finally fell asleep.